Hello YouTube, today I wanted to do a quick video to briefly outline my setup from my GPD Win. Been at it since I first received it, and I think as of last night I finally got things set up exactly how I want it. Um, currently I am rolling pretty much with three terabytes worth of storage. How I'm achieving that is if I open up File Explorer, you'll see what my hard drives look like. Go to this PC, and you can see my local is the 512 Transcend. The D drive is a ScanDisk Ultra Fit 256 gig, and the E drive is my TF card 400 gig. And how I'm achieving three terabyte is if you look on the side, I have another four. 100 gig here, as well as more scan disk ultra fits that equates up to three terabytes worth of storage. So one could imagine it would be a little difficult to figure out what games you have and where, but I have a nice solution for that. I have a <clears throat> application called Fences from Stardux, and I'll link that application in the description. Not a free app, but doesn't cost very much, and I believe you have enough licenses for multiple PCs if you like it. Um, and we could see the fences on my desktop that kind of sort and arrange everything. So on the main hard drive, I have a track mode. Um, that one is pretty much the only thing I have locally on my system, aside from uh, these few Blizzard apps. Um, takes about 250 gig, but it's you know all arcade, all console emulation. Um, this is my 400 gig TF that's plugged in. You can see all the games, and all you do is just mouse over one of these fences and hit the up and down on the D-pad, and that shows you everything on that side. USB 1 is just, I have a text document there just to show that I have the PS1 and then PSP images for a tracked mode, since those are rather large. Those all fit on a 256. Um, so that's my USB 1. USB 2, we could see all the games. Not too many, because a couple of them are pretty big, like Call of Duty, Middle Earth, Shadows of War is a 100 gig game. Um, so that's that one. USB 3, you can see all the games I have there. My cat is butting my leg currently. Um, USB 4, just these games here, the Origin games, all the Battlefields. Um, I have a bunch of GOG games in here, as well as all of these guys. USB 6. USB 7. So yeah, as you can see, I have a ton of games on here. I also have this uh, battery meter installed that you can configure to show up only in certain games, which is nice when you do something like a tracked mode, for example. Let me switch over here. You can also see my attract mode set up as well, which is kind of nice. But the battery meter stays up here, so you could see if you're burning through batteries without switching back out to the desktop. Um, and I give credit for another YouTuber. I'll link him in the description as well. But we could see all of the console and arcade emulation that I have in here. So in this one, I have 1,100 games. That's Final Burn Alpha. This one is MAME. Quite a few games in there as well, 2,640. All of them are full with videos and snapshots and all of that. Also credit to the same YouTuber that supplied the battery bar. So you might want to check out his channel. He does a lot of really cool things with the GPDs. Um, so there's that. Go back out to the desktop. Actually, so you can see how it works. Let's say I want to do like a Super Nintendo game. Switch over to my favorites. And they have it set up so it catches up for the where I left off on the last game. Since it's all, a lot of these use RetroArch. 
Works pretty Loading good. Complete. Uh, it just takes a second to load on the first load. But yeah, you can see it works perfectly. It fills the whole screen and everything, whatever you want to configure. And if you hit tab, it goes back out to the retro arch dash. So yeah, really, really nice setup. I give full credit to the YouTuber that put all this together. Um, but yeah, just wanted to share that setup with you. Um, maybe this gives you ideas for how you want to set yours up without worrying about starting to strap larger storage onto the back of the unit. It's really not necessary. Um, the way I have it, I just kind of navigate the main menu and see what I want to play and figure out which USB device it's on. And it's hard to see, but on these USB sticks, I just sharpied. Focus. So, one, four, six to, you can see directly on the USBs, kind of discreet and hard to see, but you can tell which one's which. So if I wanted to play, you know, the games on three, I would just grab USB three. Easy enough. And I got a ton on there, so that'll keep me busy for a long time. Anyway, I hope that was useful to you all, and uh, until the next one.